Hello and welcome to the short board on Parsha's Chayis Sara. Beginning of the Parsha, it talks about Sarah's life. She lived 127 years, and it concludes that Shnei Chayis Sarah. These were the years of Sarah. Rashi, on those words, says that Kulam Shavim Latova, that all her years, that is enumerated 120 and 7, that they were equal in good. The question is, how is it that it's equal and good? If you think about her life, Sarah lived and she had no children until she was 90 years old. Her friends, her relatives, they're all having kids and here she are, is, she's barren. Then she was also kidnapped twice. She also had to deal with uh, Hagar and Yishmal and uh, ultimately she died after hearing about that her son was almost slaughtered on the Akedah. So how is it that it's considered a a good life. So I heard from Rabbi Farhi, and also I looked up, I found Rabbi Fran talks about this in 5778. Um, you can find that online, the written article. And the answer is, is because it was her approach to life, her muna and her bitacha and her faith and her trust in Hashem. She never complained. While some of the other avos, uh, imahos, the, our foremothers, they said stuff like, I'm very disgusted with my life, or if you don't give me children, then I'm going to die. So they complained, they complained to Hashem, but Sarah never complained to Hashem. She never did a kasi b'chayai, or if I don't have children, then I'm going to, then I'm going to die. So that is the lesson of, of Sarah, which I think we can also see this by David HaMelech. David HaMelech, he had a hard life. Uh, some of the challenges, including that his father-in-law wanted to kill him, his son wanted to kill him. So he had a challenging life, yet he says, Hashem, how, how, how can I pay you back? I want to pay back for all the, the good you've done for me. As it says in Kuf Tes Zayin, the Tehillim, Pasuk Yud Beis. So that's a lesson for all of us, uh, from both Sora and from from David Amalekh, that whatever our challenges, whether it's children, it's, it's health, it's Shidduchim, uh, it's Parnasa, Shalom Bayis, that we should have to go take the approach that Hashem knows what He's doing, Hashem's going to work it all out, Hashem has a plan, and there will rely on the Shemun and Bitachon so that we'll be able to take our lives happily. And just to go back to something, the last week in Parshish Bayer that I heard from, uh, um, from Kerav Tuni, Rabbi Eli Melch Sharf, so he said, the Malachim, why did they ask Avram Avinu, where is Sarah? They knew where Sarah was. The answer is because they wanted to make him meet, have a greater love for, for Sarah by verbalizing the fact that she was a Tsunua, that when men came, she was in the Ohel. That is something that he would appreciate and become more beloved. And the lesson that we can learn from this is in any marriage is that when they're, why now? Because they're about to have a child. And when you're going to have a child, the most important thing is to take whatever level of shalom bias, whatever good relations you have, take it up to the next level so this child or children will be raised with happiness and tranquility and love. And that's the best thing for them. So thank you for listening. Have a wonderful week and a wonderful Shabbos.